Yes, yeah, thank the Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> you think they could beat Carolina because they had good tigers okay. against Russia? It was good. I was like, I think they're going to beat Carolina. All right, so like 10 minutes later, I was like, I have, I have a question. <laughs> L- L- Lindor. Lindor. Do you, do you find he's um? Do you find he's overrated? <laughs> oh, well, he's having a rough tiger. Okay, I think he, I, you hate him, don't you? Hate him? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I see him. What's up, guys? It's Downtime TV. It's Barnes. It's Michael. It's Renee on the way. Pickleball of America, the match of the century. We have Rick, we have Dave, we have Anita and Amani. There's been a lot of hype building up to this. And it's kind of interesting talking to most people, and I think you even agreed too. People seem to be leaning the way of, of Rick and Dave. I kind of just thought Amani with you know playing in the NFL, I was leaning that side, but it seems like most people are in support of Rick and Dave, so it's gonna be interesting. I think it's gonna be a fun match and really looking forward to uh, interviewing everybody catching up with everybody and uh, we'll see you guys in a little bit I'm joined here by Dave Rothenberg, Amani Toomer here, Anita Marks before the big pickleball match between her and Amani and Rick and Dave. How are you feeling, Anita? I'm feeling, I, well, first of all, I'm freezing. Uh, it's, abs- it's so cold in here. I've got to warm up. I've got to get my juices flowing, but I'm really excited. It's going to be a fun best of five. We'll see if they call it quits after three. I don't, you know, we'll see. Like, I'm really intrigued. I want to see how how well Rick and Dave play. I just, I know Amani because Amani and I have been practicing together. Yeah. But Rick and Dave, I just don't know. I'm excited to see. All right, I don't want to be overly confident, but I feel good. I just had a practice match. Rick and I were, I thought we played very well. Uh, I feel good about this match with Anita and Amani. And um, you know what? Again, don't want to say too much because I don't want to, you know, poke the bear. But I, I feel good. I'm feeling good. Um, we haven't practiced that much. I'm not a huge pickleball player. But I feel like the competitive juices get flowing, and who knows what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, and obviously it's been a little bit, you know, since you were playing in the NFL. Has have those been kind of recharged? Like your sense of competition? Like you're real jacked up for this one? I'm real jacked up, but I um, I do a lot of cycling now. A lot safer sport. Yeah. <laughs> I just, and I, I use that as my outlet. But this is a good opportunity to try something new, and I've always loved stuff to keep active, staying in shape. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this, and um, this is awesome. Like they got this, and right in the middle of the mall, they set up all these pickleball courts. I'm sure on like Friday nights, Saturday nights, in Stanford, Connecticut, this is the place to be. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And lastly, if you had to give a prediction, is this a close down to the wire match, or do you think you guys got to handle it? Blowout. Wow. Be a blowout. Those are fighting words from Amani Tumor. What, what, what is your response to that? So he thinks we're going to blow them out. That's what he does. <laughs> really? I guess that's your response. Uh, no, this, I, I would be stunned, stunned if they blew us out. If they win, I don't think they're going to win. I think we're going to win. But you know what? Look, again, I'm not a trash talker. I don't want to get there before the match starts. Let's let's have a, the, the match start, and then we'll, we'll see what happens. Any any response there? I, again, I, I mean, I... I I don't, I don't, I, I don't know what their game is about. I don't yeah. know how often they practice. They haven't. Now here's the thing, they haven't played or practiced together. And pickleball, it's, it's, it's really, it's about your partner. And so I feel that Amani and I have been fortunate enough that we've been able to practice together twice. So I think we have the advantage there. It, it's going to be. It's. I, I'm intrigued. It's going to be interesting. And, and I heard you talking before. You know, big night last night at Prime. Does that play into the equation at all, or do you feel like now that you're here, you're locked in? Last night doesn't even matter. I'm hope. Like, again, I went to Prime. Great spot, by the way. Went there to watch the Kentucky Derby. Ended what? Ended up watching the NBA game there as well. Stayed a little too late. Drank a little too much. Not feeling a hundred percent right now. But I'm hoping like. Once I put on my sneakers, I'm out there practicing, the match is about to start, I'm hoping like it all goes away and, and I'll, I'll be my best self. Bigger priority today, the win here or the win the Rangers versus the Hurricanes? Series or game? Game. 
Well, I'll still take the Rangers game. I yeah. prefer the Rangers game, but but I, I want to win. Like, I mean, it's like saying, you know, which child do you love more? Like, you love them both. I want yeah. both things to happen, but the Rangers need to win this game today. And, and I know all along you were confident, but I saw you guys practicing out here. Did that kind of ramp it up at all for you? Because it seemed like you guys were going 100 miles an hour out there. Yeah, I was playing hard. Uh, he's yeah. terrific. You know, you forget that Rick is a professional athlete, so he's just did, like different than a different level. He's very good. I think I'm yeah. good, and I think we're going to be fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm ramped up. I'm ready to go. Yeah, no, we're really excited for it, too, and awesome. Obviously, we just had the Mets tailgate on Thursday so how, how much you guys enjoy you know interacting with the fans and getting to see everybody up close like that's this. what it's all about man we absolutely love it right I mean we are a show of the people we say it all the time and then yet put your your speak into actually the way it is and we love coming out meeting people doing interviews you know taking pictures shaking hands it's great we yeah. absolutely love it yeah, yeah we enjoy it too and appreciate you giving us a couple minutes Dave Thanks. <laughs>
And uh, yeah, what a, what an event here and what a host venue. I feel like for this venue only being open six months, the way everything was set up, I don't think they could have done a better job with this. Oh, this place is gorgeous. This place is gorgeous. I guess they're gonna build up to. Um, so yeah, it was a real treat to come here on a Sunday. Uh, now we get to go enjoy Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, thanks guys. Good luck. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. 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 Thanks.